There's no transmission. Yeah, oh yeah, I see. There's the bad side. Yeah, look at that. Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Today we have some unfortunate news, some bad news for the transmission in my twin turbo Mustang. So what we're gonna do is go check it out. It's over there with the transmission builder. Since we were having some slipping issues and some clunking going down the track. It's very unfortunate, uh, never a good thing. Slipping to be expected when you're doubling and tripling the horsepower of these Mustangs or any car really. But when you have clunking going around, it's never a good thing. But before we begin, today's video is brought to you by Adu. Adu is a company that has sent me a few things over the past. Now, most of you guys out there actually have some kind of a tuning device on your car, Mustang, Camaro. If you modify your car in any way, sometimes you run into a problem. Let's say that you have an O2 sensor go down and you're throwing a code. Well, unless you have one of those gauges or unless you go to an auto zone or something like that, but you could also use something like this. So very, very affordable. I will link all of this down in the description. We're gonna open it up real quick, but big shout out to Adu once again. Let's do the unboxing. And oh, by the way, we also have something fancy here. I'm pretty sure that once again, probably one of the first, if not the first on YouTube, to actually get what is inside of this box. So very excited to open it up and show you guys what exactly this is because I think it's kind of a game changer. Honestly, I think it's a game changer. So let's dive in. So this is a little device that is simply going to plug into your OBD2 port. When I get the car back, we're gonna give this a thorough test, make sure that it works properly. I'm sure that it will because everything that Adu has sent me has worked flawlessly. But anyway, we're gonna dive into the unboxing of this before we get to the meat of today's video. Just like Christmas, we're just gonna rip into it. This is really cool. We got some stickers for Ford Mustang GT. But, so there is your giveaway right there. <laughs> That's your first hint. So we're gonna move down the line. And look at this. Corsa, big supporter of the channel, big supporter of them, I love their products. But normally, well pretty much universally, in every catback system that I think that they make, they pretty much run a double X pipe. But now, this is the first ever double H pipe. Funny story is I actually pushed for this about a year ago. I said, hey, look, let's give the customers out there um, some diversity. Not everybody wants an X pipe, let alone a double X pipe. Some guys out there, a lot of people actually like the, the deeper sound that you'd get from an H pipe. Well, lethal performance beat me to the punch. This has been a product in development for a long time. Really cool to see that this actually finally uh, come into development here, but this is a lethal performance exclusive. With my car, I run the full Corsa uh, system on it. They're active exhaust and it sounds beautiful, especially with the turbo car. It is absolutely just magical. I, I mean, honestly, I would never change it for anything. It sounds so good with the Corsa. It's a double helix X light. very excited to actually see and compare and eventually do dyno back-to-back -back results of a double X versus a double H, especially on a turbo car because they're sensitive to back pressure. How well is a double H pipe going to do in comparison to a double X? Stay tuned to the channel. That content is coming soon. What's going on? How you doing? Always on jack stands. There's no transmission. Look at that. Oh, so you, you could get it out with the turbo still hanging. That's good. I didn't know if this would have to actually come out or not. Oh, oh yeah, I see. There's the bad side. Yeah, look at that. Did you see anything weird with the clutches and you're burning around? I mean, there's some, but not very much at all. I think like, the D clutch was the only one I've seen that really looked bad. Okay. But other than that, the rest of them look pretty good. So you can see just one of the steels are burnt there. Right? Yeah, a little brownish. Yeah. The rest of them look good. Doesn't look terrible at all, yeah. Yeah, we'll get another filter. You got one? I picked everything up for you. I just added Oh, sweet. Deal. All right, awesome. Nothing holds me back, so I've got a filter in the fluid. Okay, perfect. So all this looks looks okay. Yeah, it's not horrible. It's you can grab your hand on it. It's like it's got a little marking on it, but it ain't. It's nothing. It didn't yeah, fingernail's not catching nothing. She's smooth. That's so weird that that happened though. 
I don't know why. You know, that's it's always tough when something you know breaks, something happens, and you can't determine why. I would have expected the clutches to be much worse. I didn't believe it to be honest with you. When I got under it, I seen it was dripping a little bit right by the bell and house. Yeah. And I thought, well, maybe the front seal's bad. And when I slid it out, that's why I pulled the converter out first thing. I looked in it, and that's when I seen that motion. Because it was definitely seated. I know that people are going to say this in the video. Well, it wasn't seated properly. Well, if that were true, it would have killed that pump. Yeah. It, it, I mean, we've got almost 5,000 miles on this, this so rebuild. You had the converter in? Yeah. Out? Yeah. So it would have definitely broke before. But this is a soft uh, material. I'm guessing aluminum. So most of it's not bad. It's just on the side here. It's real blurred up. Cheap as I could find a, uh, what am I thinking of? What if? the valve body yeah it's like 400 bucks i was shopping all around the country because everybody's like no we don't have any in stock because covid yeah yeah you I know if that'd be an issue. i called one dealership and they were double they were charging double the price double plus the core the they wanted like 1100 dollars, including core for the valve body i was like absolutely not yeah so anyway so we're gonna replace the filter that new valve body coming because there is a little bit of metal that may you said that there was minimal on the yeah i mean the there magnet. was some you know what I mean, but it wasn't horrible. Nothing to say, excessive. It the best I could. Okay, so we sure didn't. Down there, yeah. You know. Well, we didn't want to take any chances, so we got a new valve body on the way, and then we we're going to go back to the stock converter for a period of time, and then we'll just do this again whenever. The good thing is the Circle D is not going to charge me to fix it. So, yeah. so the clutch is already in. Yep. Wow. Yeah, I just haven't put the bolts back in. I stuck the cover on just keep dust out of it for now. Yeah. So you can basically throw this thing together with yeah, a new converter. I was like, I was ready for the converter. I'm gonna put it in there and just leave this on it. And once you get me the valve body and I get time, I'll slap it. Because you access it. it from under here. Correct. So I was talking to Danger Russ on YouTube. Yeah. And he said uh, a couple of times it's happened to him. So yeah, he told me, and then my buddy Ken told me he's like, absolutely doesn't even. If you think there's any metal in that thing, yeah, they're definitely valve good. body. Maybe later we can cut this open and just take a look at it. Let me get you the old or new but old converter. Yep. So there's the stock one. Just make sure it's got a little dust. We'll clean it out, but. Yeah, we can this bushing is completely smooth it wasn't the second gear launch thing that did it because it was actually doing it earlier that day in first gear oh, man the way it was mangled up i'd say it's been like that for a little bit you know and it's probably just got just worse worse, time. worse and worse and over time i yeah. say that's what caused you the issues whenever you started feeling it yeah with the way your clutches didn't look bad you know right because i'm actually really excited to go back to stock just to feel the difference i've been told i'm probably gonna like it more so here's a good shot of the back of the heads pretty cool something you guys don't normally get to see because the transmission's right there in the way and all this room for activities yeah. very cool so do they modify the stock manifold yes Is that what hell horse does yeah so yeah. it's a oem stock and then yeah they they modify yeah now for everybody watching when you order a hell horse performance Twin turbo kit like I've got, well, you can't get these anymore, these OEM stock. Or maybe you can, but standard in the kit, uh, you're gonna get four to one header. The kit has been revised since we put it on my car. We're gonna sit in the shade for a minute, it's really hot out here. But um, yeah, just to recap the video here. So what you guys have seen is a problem with the 10R80 transmission um, in result of, I think, the converter. Now, this is not a, this is not throwing shade at Circle D in any way. I've actually talked to a few of you guys on the Facebook forums, Mustang forums, just all around, and this happens. Um, it's not a converter problem there's just something something to do with that bushing material it doesn't matter if it's this brand there are other brands there's like sun coast out there and in some cases oem it just happens don't know if it was a horsepower related issue or what you know we're not really sure if it's like horsepower related or, or you know what, what the deal is uh maybe there's some slipping going on it was causing this uh whatever the case may be this is not a common thing so what i did was i contacted circle d and asked them about it we're going to send it off and have them repair it but what happens is that we think so far it's just this right here so this bushing inside 
right there remember this side over here is a little bit boogered up this is like a, a really soft aluminum so what they do is they replace this center section here everything internally should be good to go and fine so we're going to have them check it out though make sure you know because they're obviously going to take care of me yeah so unfortunate you know this is very expensive a converter is very expensive so we want to make sure that it's repaired properly so yeah very unfortunate that you know we did have some issues but pretty cool to see that the clutches the oem clutches actually weren't that bad and um, if that right there, which is basically a seal, that bushing, it's riding on the, uh, the input shaft there. So, you know, if that's getting bound up or scraped up or whatever, luckily it wasn't um, scratching up the OEM. Um, I'm guessing I'm going to call it the input shaft. I, I, correct me if I'm wrong. But um, I'm not a transmission guy. This is my first time going into one or having somebody else do it. So once this is repaired, which should only take a week or so, then uh, eventually down the road put this one back in there and then go really fast i think it's pretty interesting that i think that we are almost a second off from our best time and it's all been transmission related yeah the car should be fixed in about a week and a half or so and we're gonna have our built transmission we're gonna go on our first test drive see how it feels in comparison to oem stock and uh, i'm very actually excited to go back to the oem converter because it's gonna feel a little bit more lively on the street. You know, I, I think that, we'll walk into the garage. I think that um, I might actually fall back in love with the car a little bit more, just because it is sort of turning into somewhat of a race build, but um, I still mainly drive on the street. So that's where I like to have most of my fun, bring guys content, do all that, but we're gonna quit rambling. The stock converter is going back into the car where we have upgraded clutches now. The thing should be bulletproof all day long. Um, and we, yeah, we'll just send this off and then we'll come back. And if there's something really wrong, you know, but I don't think there will be, then you know, we'll address it at that point. But that's the video, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe if you are new. Turn your notification bell on. I'll see you guys next video. Be safe. Enjoy. Have a great day.